One of my absolute favorite ways to do real estate business is by using bandit signs. In this video, I'm gonna talk about do bandit signs work? All right, so with all the technology today, the social media and Craigslist and Facebook and Instagram, all these amazing tools available to us, does something such so simple as a sign on the side of a road or a bandit sign actually work today? I'm gonna be explaining all this and I'm gonna talk about how we use signs today, what we do with them and how profitable they are. All right, so first I wanna talk about my land signs. I have two, basically, I call them my billboards, but they're really just two large parcels of board. We call them plywood. It's a sheet of plywood on both sides. It says land for sale. And I'm showing you an example right now on the screen of that. And it's just, it's very simple, must sell land. Another example is something that we put out, we call them our bandit signs, they're smaller. They're actually bandit signs. And the word bandit sign came from people just in the middle of the night, they would stick these things on the side of the road because it's illegal to do in your city or your county. So you always wanna know the rules and the regulations that the county allows you to do it. Like one of my counties, they allow me to put out bandit signs from Friday at noon to Monday at noon. On Monday at noon, we're supposed to pick them up. Now, do we always pick them up? No, we never pick them up. The city eventually picks them up for us because here's the thing, the longer we have these bandit signs out, the more of a return on investment we get for that sign because one, I gotta pay the guy to put them out. Two, I gotta pay for the sign. And there's a little trick that you can do and I'm gonna give you a quick ninja tip here and that is by getting the misprints. What does that mean? It's a lot of these companies will accidentally print the wrong information on a sign or the customer. They approve the proof and it's still wrong, so they'll send it back and they have all these signs and they can print on the other side. But you as a wholesaler, as a business person, you can buy these for like half off and I call them misprints. And you, a lot of times you gotta call the sign companies weekly or monthly just to see if they have anything. But there's your ninja tip. Next, I wanna talk about I buy houses bandit signs. We purchase a lot of houses by having consistent bandit signs going out. And I say consistent because it's actually you know, pretty vital. You have to continuously put these things out. People have to see them multiple times and eventually they will call on them when they have a house for sale. I once did a, a deal, it's, it was on Balance Circle. Uh, we purchased this house. It was a, a guy that was looking to get out of his HOA and move back to Georgia. Uh, this was a particular situation because he was getting a lot of fines from his HOA, but ultimately we purchased that house with this exact sign that I'm showing you on the screen, we buy houses fast cash. And we bought this house, and we ended up fixing it up, and we sold it for a $59,000 net profit after everything was paid. That was a pretty good deal by putting out some bandit signs. But the whole key to this is being consistent. One of my areas, I do really, really well during the dead of winter. You know why? Because it's snowing and it's icy, and we still put out bandit signs, even though it's tough to do it, but no one else is doing it during these cold winter times. This is some of the best times that we have the best results for our bandit signs. Another example of bandit signs when we use them and have very good success for is we just recently had a, a property. It was a parcel of land uh, with a very small little tiny house on it. And this area, this is actually a property in Colorado. And we had our, our bandit sign guy go out and put 33 bandit signs saying three, two, must sell and it had our phone number. And we got so many calls, we added so many people to our cash buyers list, and one of those purchasers came from those signs putting them out. So we do a, a series of emails, and then we'll send text messages to our cash buyers list. But another thing we do is we also put bandit signs out to get new additional cash buyers, fresh, fresh cash buyers added to our list that are interested in that particular area. So do bandit signs really work? I don't know, you tell me where we're at in this video, but I hope I hope you're getting value out of this. So definitely smash that red subscribe button and hit that like button as well at the same time. And I'm gonna keep rolling here. All right, so I already briefly mentioned this, but building your cash buyers list. I love putting out bandit signs every time we have a wholesale land deal or a wholesale house deal or an apartment complex wholesale deal. We put out bandit signs because it builds our cash buyers list. And at the end of the day, as a real estate investor, you can't buy everything, but you can get quite a few deals under contract and assign those contracts and make a quick cash profit and bandit signs help me tremendously in my real estate business. All right, so one of the ways that I am able to stay consistent is I actually have someone that helps me with this. This guy puts these bandit signs out every single week and he stays very consistent with it. And one way we track what he's doing and how to pay him and how much to pay him and where the signs are at is we use a simple 
app called Simple Crew. Simple Crew, right? It allows us to see exactly where he's, he's putting the signs and all he does, once he puts the sign in the ground, he'll take a photo with his phone and it automatically geolocates it and he can tag it, he can name it, he can do all these things, but it allows us to see where our signs are at and where we're having the best success with the signs and how much to pay our sign guy. But consistency is everything. I know I've mentioned that multiple times on this video. For me to stay consistent as a business owner, I hire people to help me stay consistent. All right, so I talked a lot about my land business and what we're doing. If you're interested in learning more about land or buying and selling land and creating a business that serves you and your family and others, definitely I hope you've already subscribed to this channel, but head on over to thelandsharks.com. That's thelandsharks.com. Schedule a call with me and my team. See what we have to offer. And if we feel like we're a great fit, I'd be honored to coach you.